Good morning from Limelight Avenue in Phuket Town. Today is Thursday, the 13th of October, 2022. Uh, it's the sixth anniversary of the death of uh, His Majesty King Bhumapan Adoya Day the Great, ninth king of the Chakri Dynasty of Thailand. Uh, and as such, I've got my little memorial ribbon on. Okay, but also it's a public holiday. So what I am going to do is walk to Sapan Hin today, which is in the southern part of Phuket town. It's a recreational area. And uh, I haven't been down there in a long, long time. So I want to see what's new. All right, uh, the weather's fairly good. It's a little warm right now and uh, a lot more traffic than I was expecting on a public holiday. All right, but you never know what's gonna happen in Thailand. Okay, so I'm making my way across the street to the Queen's Park. Okay, well this is Queen Siracate Park, which is right across the street from Limelight. And my home is back there about four minute walk. Okay, there's usually a lot of special events in here. Uh, Pre-COVID days, there was a lot more, but it's starting to come back. Uh, they still have an arch down there for uh, uh, the Vegetarian Festival, the Nine Emperor Gods Festival, which uh, I did a video on a week ago, a little over a week ago, for the grand finale of that. Okay, I'm coming up upon the Sea Dragon of Phuket. There he is. All right. Now, why a sea dragon? Well, they say that the shape of the island of Phuket resembles a sea dragon. And there's a few legends about that as well. Uh, sea dragon coming to life and forming the island. Uh, there's also other dragons that form different islands in Pangna Bay. Okay. And this is the southern part of Queen Surikit Park. Okay, this is Talong Road, or in Thai, Tanan, uh, Talong. Tanan meaning road or street. Some kind of random thing from Central Festival. And the sign says that the park was established in 2547, which in the Buddhist uh, years, this year is 2565. So the park is almost 20 years old 18 to be exact i can do math okay and basically the center of phuket old town is down that street okay sino portuguese architecture we'll save that for another day though because i'm going to be turning left at the lights and i'm going to cross the road right about now okay well, this is Tanan Tepkesa Tree, or Tepkesa Tree Road. It's named after one of the two heroines of Phuket. Okay, uh, later on I'll do a uh, video on the two heroines in the Battle of Talong. Uh, her sister was uh, named uh, Dao Tep Sri Sun Ton. Is that right? Sounds right. <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> Uh, Chan and Mook are their nicknames. Okay, but this is a road. This is a really good ice cream place, uh, which I uh, had some gelato from last night. Uh, this place used to be Rasta Bar and then Beer Sound, and now it's Papazula, which is a Turkish restaurant in its latest incarnation. Okay, this nice looking building was the first foreign owned bank in Phuket built I think in 1907 the chartered bank and uh, shortly after they built that they built this building which was the Talat Yai police station uh, to protect the interests of the bank all right nice to have a police station across from the bank both are currently museums uh, neither of which I've been inside of uh, since the renovations Another view of the intersection, uh, that is Pangna Road and Tepekasa Tree going straight ahead. A couple of banks 
that bank was recently renovated to look more in the Sino-Portuguese architecture style. And this little corner is usually one of the municipality's locations for putting up festival kind of stuff. All right, I'll show you another municipality favorite for installations pretty soon. That's Crab House Restaurant over there. And I'm continuing south on Tepkisa Tree Road. Or actually, it turns into Phuket Road. Okay, and this road coming up here, that is Tenan Rasada, which leads to the uh, Fresh Market. Okay, we'll feature that in a different video as well. Okay, this is Sirin Circle, which is where I had uh, I spent the grand finale of the Phuket Vegetarian Festival at last week. Uh, this is one place that this municipality likes to decorate whenever there's any kind of festival or holiday. Uh, you know, it, they dress it up nice and they light it pretty well as well. Alright, continuing on south through the circle and continuing down, this is Phuket Road, Tanan Phuket now. Uh, adjacent to the circle, we've got a really excellent coffee shop over there. And there are several really excellent uh, local Thai restaurants, as well as the Hok Wan Kong Chinese Shrine. And behind me, see if I can get in the street without being killed. This building, you can't tell it because it's got billboards all over it, but that was Phuket's very first movie cinema. Okay, I'm crossing this road now. Okay, just past that intersection, we got a Thai Buddhist temple. Uh, that's uh, Ban Ban Yao Temple. Okay, Wat Ban Ban Yao. Giving the street a wash and a scrub. You never know what you're going to see. Okay, here we have a very large pool that's uh, uh, Rongrian Teshaban Bang Bang Miao. Okay. Bang Miao Municipal School. For a holiday, there's a lot more traffic than I was expecting. But since there's a school there, there's all kinds of little cafes and street stalls and uh, places to get uh, like drinks and stuff up in this area. Okay, lots of nice little restaurants. Okay, walkway over the road, which is always good. There's not that many of them. But I'm continuing south on Phuket Road. We're pretty close to the government uh, uh, offices. Uh, the customs house is coming up. Uh, the Marine Police Station is coming up. As is Phuket Immigration Office. See, here's another one. Lots of breakfast food. All right. Lots of cats, too. Just south of Bang Miao School on Tanan Phuket, we have the Phuket Public Library, or in Thai, Hang Samut Phuket. This is a location that every Phuket expat and many of the visitors here are familiar with. The Phuket Immigration Office. Uh, since it's a public holiday, I think most services are shut down for today. Surprised that the gates even open, however. Okay, we're getting into the Sapan Hin area. We've got this big uh, lagoon kind of a thing, a water basin. Uh, they used to have these evening light fountain water shows. Uh, I have no idea if they still do those. Uh, I've worked in that building before, uh, teaching staff members of the Thai government's Digital Economic Something Agency. DEPA. D-E-P-A. Uh, darn, I can't remember the, what the P stands for. Oh, well, it's a nice area. Okay, you see joggers in here every once in a while. There's a large area 
just to the south of this lagoon, which uh, is used for big events. Uh, when the king, uh, his majesty, uh, died, they erected a, uh, a reduced-sized version of the uh, cremation pavilion that they erected uh, full-size in Bangkok. Uh, they erected one in each province, and the one for Phuket was in there. So we could participate in the funeral. Uh, they broadcast it on big screens that they erected. Uh, used to be they would have a big celebration on uh, the king's birthday and the queen's birthday. And uh, I worked at an international school at the time. And we always had to attend. When I started, we had to, all teachers had to attend both birthdays. But then... Uh, our staff became so large that they would divide it. Half would go to the Queen's birthday in August. Half would go to the King's birthday in December. Uh, and since my birthday fell on the King's birthday, usually I, I went to the Queen's. <laughs> All right. they, they spared me having to dress up and come down here on the evening of my birthday. But it was okay. I didn't mind. All right. Uh, not a lot going on down here. I can't tell. Uh, from my screen, it looks like my video is pretty blurry, but I can't tell. Okay, I'm going to maybe have to make adjustments if this comes out blurry and then do it again. <laughs> I hope I don't have to do that. It's been a long walk already. Okay, that odd-looking object behind me. That's kind of the official entrance to the Sapan Hen area. That's an old part of a tin mining dredge. As, uh, they used to have these large, large boats out in the, uh, out in the bay uh, that would uh, mine tin. Okay? And tin mining was also a big, big part of the economy in Phuket. Uh, most of the uh, so-called lakes that you see in Phuket aren't natural. They're all uh, leftovers from the tin mining. Back over here and switch to the front camera. To my eyes, it looks blurry, but I will check on the screen when I get home. God, I hope it's not blurry. Okay. Down this road and further on, there's a few uh, very good Thai restaurants as well. Uh, during festivals, sometimes it's just packed with uh, stalls uh, selling food. See, this is where the big uh, birthday celebrations are. Sometimes they'll have the equivalent of a county fair there, uh, usually in conjunction with a temple. New Year's fairs are often held here as well. Looks like they're advertising some kind of event happening the 30th of November through the 8th of December, uh, which is pretty much the start of the high season. All right, so it looks like there's some concerts and stuff going to be out here. It's a really peaceful area. I have no idea what that says. I'll get it translated at some point. But right across the street is one of several naval museums that we have in Phuket. We've got this one. There's a small museum, but the public can't go into it. At the, um, the 3rd District Naval Headquarters at the uh, bottom of uh, Cape Makam. Is that right? Okay, Al um, Lem, yeah, Lem Panwa. Okay, I, I remember it in Thai. If I start putting it in English, I forget the names of things. We've got this one. It says His Royal Highness Prince Akara Keres Kongsvi of Chumpan, who is the father of the Royal Thai Navy. So this is a museum dedicated to him. I've been in there a couple of times before uh maybe i'll go back in there today get some pictures okay uh and we also have a naval museum at cape Pramtep, lem Pramtep, at the southwest corner 
of of the island. Uh, there's a big lighthouse and a small museum inside as you can go to the top of the lighthouse, which very few people actually do. Well, just south of the Naval Museum, there's an exercise park with lots of equipment. Over on my left is a hiking trail or jogging trail. Further up, there's a trail into the mangroves, which I might uh, do in a minute. Uh, also scattered around this area, there's several large sports stadiums. Uh, there's an outdoor um, football stadium, or as we Americans call soccer. Three bells. What's that, 10 a.m.? Something like that. I forget. Uh, Thai Navy might be different. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's also a swimming uh, stadium. Uh, there's several indoor uh, arenas. Okay, uh, I went to a lot of those, uh, oh, I don't remember what year, it's probably been 10 years ago, when we had the, uh, hosted the National Athletic Games, uh, we called it the Phuket Games here, all the schools participated, alright, my school was an accommodation school, so we didn't have to teach for two weeks, I think we, we started the school year, taught one week, and then they canceled all classes for the Phuket Games. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna climb over this berm and we'll go back up to the mangrove trail. And then I'm gonna go to the, uh, the waterfront. The entrance to the mangrove trail is pretty much opposite the bow of the uh, ship fake ship at the uh, Navy Museum. Okay, I'm gonna go in there. Probably get eaten by a few mosquitoes on the route. Okay, well this is new, or at least since the last time I came down here during the daytime, which is <laughs> probably 10 years ago. All right, but a little nice trail through the mangroves. Okay. A little bit of nature. The last time I came out into the woods down here was for a uh, New Year's one time to watch the fireworks on the on the shoreline. Lots of people um, were camping out down in here. Okay, but I think I see the shoreline. Mangroves not too much, but interesting. Well, I just had the sudden thought that these mangroves would be a good place to dispose of a body if you're a mafia type person. Okay, I wonder if that's ever been the case here. Lots of weird things happen in Thai crime. We won't go there. Okay, let me switch the camera back to the... Kind of a nice little walk. There's a few joggers along here, but mostly pretty quiet. I'm so happy the weather's nice today. And, oh, oh wow, okay, it, it drops you off at the waterfront. It's a nice kind of um, what the heck is that called? Arch? <laughs> okay, sometimes I have a brain fart on video. Okay, this is all uh, recorded live. I don't overdub later on or do any fix or mix or anything. I've my time is too valuable for all that. I'm a strictly an amateur when it comes to these video productions. But, oh wow, okay. This didn't used to be all be paved down in here. Let's see, how do I get out to that? I guess this continues on. It looks like there's an outlet down there. But this is quite nice. Boy, all this used to not be here. I uh, used to have to climb over muddy banks and stuff to get this close to the shore on this side, but I remember same sunken boats out there. Okay. Um, I don't remember the stories of any of the sunken boats. One of them's left over. At, two of them are left over from World War II, though. Okay, seems to be two choices. Does that wrap back around? Oh, no, no, that's blocked off there. The other side's not blocked. What, he can go and walk down into the mangroves or something? 
let me check this out. Just a random drop off they forgot to finish. Looks like an accident waiting to happen. Okay, I'm not gonna jump in there. All right. Oh, wow, okay. I remember exploring those houses along the shoreline. At one point, we were looking for a house and I thought, boy, that'd be cool. And then we started thinking about all the mosquitoes. <laughs> all right. Uh, got a long time ago. There's actually a wheelchair ramp at the end. I'm very, very surprised. You don't see wheelchair accessible anything in Thailand much. Okay, there's the stilt houses over there. I forget the name of the neighborhood though. And I'm going to walk out here a little bit. I'm off the boardwalk. Or it's not really a boardwalk, it's a sidewalk. Okay, there's pavement. Okay, another video I saw uh, that <laughs> uh, I discovered the existence of this little trail from called a boardwalk. But let me take a closer look. Now it's concrete, but it's grooved to look like uh, boards, e even with the joinings. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Concrete boardwalk and a large area over there that doesn't look like it has fake boards. But this is quite nice down here. All right. They've really done a lot to improve this area. It says Zumbra at Sapan Hin, Phuket Sports Road, and Phuket Sports City. Wow, this is a definite, definite uh, improvement for the exercise minded and for people like me who just like to walk and look around at stuff. Okay, well, our front, this used to be. I don't think it extended out this far. I don't remember the mangroves, but the last time I was out here, but I remember the view. I remember that uh, half sunken, I think that was a Norwegian trawler. <laughs> that sounds funny, in Thailand. Okay, but yeah, it was registered in Norway. That's what I remember. Okay, I used to research all that, but my memory gets phasey. Over there, that's uh, that should be Cape Panwa. I can see uh, two of the small uh, frigates. I believe they're frigates from the uh, Royal Thai Navy tied up at the pier. I taught, uh, and one of my favorite courses ever, I taught at the, uh, the command uh, center uh, for the Royal Thai Navy, the third uh, Navy district. You know, the Admiral was in my class and a lot of his command staff and a lot of enlisted sailors as well. Okay. I miss courses like that. Uh, I think this might be the area that used to come to a lot. I remember those rocks. I remember having a picnic on those. But this was all kind of muddy and rocky. I remember collecting shells along this area. So they've just paved it all okay or it's kind of tiles looks like a nice place to sit and relax <laughs> and it looks like they've got a lot of flags down at the very tip let's see what that's all about in just a moment well, I thought they were going to be flags of different countries, but it looks like it's mostly Thai national flags. Yellow for the king and purple for the queen. All right, which is just fine with me. Now, it's quite a hike down here, boy. Okay, and it looks like there's a big welcome to Phuket sign at the very uh, tip of Sapan Hin. Welcome to Phuket. I know from another video that uh, that's like a police uh, checkpoint thing in there, or that's where they sleep anyway. <laughs> okay. 
this field I'm approaching is where all the processions from the Phuket Vegetarian Festival, that's where they all end up uh, because they're bringing the big shrines to the sea. All right. And there's a Chinese shrine just adjacent to that where there's always activity during the festival. Uh, I might have to try to come back up here uh, next year for during the festival. I missed out on a lot of stuff in 2022. But there's always 2023 and 2024 and 2025. This kid's learning to rollerblade. It's getting hot, but the clouds are coming in too. I'm sure we'll see some afternoon thunderstorms at least. A lot of people have picnics down here. So there's lots of little uh, saling, uh, selling refreshments. Hey, I might get a cold drink here in a moment because I'm famished. There's the shrine again. Okay, this is Shalong Bay there and the entrance to one of the canals up through town is right here. Uh, a canal in Thai is Klong. I forget the name of the uh, the big canal that goes through Phuket town. I just call it Klong Yai, which means big canal. <laughs> and I can see some fishing boats up there. Uh, some kind of excursion boat just came out. Guy in the hammock. Popular area for picnics, as I mentioned. Okay, let's continue. I'm going northward now. I love the Thai fishing boats. They're always very colorful. Uh, I really, really like the larger ones, which uh, I don't see any of down here. Okay, so maybe a future video I'll go over to the uh, Rasada port, where there's all manner of larger boats, uh, excursion boats, fishing boats. Uh, other sites a lot of people live out in there maintain their fishing boats make new ones and I I don't know what the heck these these plots are it looks like some kind of form of bocce ball I've seen a couple of people with mallets and balls but uh, don't really know <laughs> Okay, I forget what the ribbons on the prow mean, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of research at some point to recall. I've forgotten more than I remember in Thailand anymore. I used to research all this stuff. All right, that's the biggest fishing boat I've seen uh, in this stretch today. And this bridge up here is about where I'm going to head back towards my route to get home. It's a big football stadium. It's a Pan Hen. Across the street is the Sports Authority of Thailand and the Sports Sciences Center. Okay, a popular area for local students to spend their time if they want to get fit. Uh, and lots of sporting events are held down here as well. So as I make my way through here, and oh, I got to step over some flowers, looks like. I just want to mention I'm wearing the mask uh, out of personal choice. It's no longer mandated here, although most of the locals still wear them. Uh, most of foreigners you see do not. All right, but since I work in a government school and I'm pretty known in the community, I keep the mask on. Also, nobody can see my bad teeth that way, <laughs> okay? Uh, so it's cosmetic reasons and personal choice, not a requirement, just in case you're wondering. And here I am, here I am, this is the Navy Museum uh, honoring the uh, father of the Thai Navy and they're giving it a nice scrub down so I might not be able to walk too much in there. I don't want to dirty it with my, my dirty shoes. Nice little lighthouse. But I'll take a few pictures at the entrance, I think. Let's just come up here. Because I like I like these entrance icons. 
hey the elephant and uh, the sailor and it looks like a marine giving the salute okay and there's an anchor over here so yeah it's pretty cool I think as a former Navy junkie I quite like the fence decorations okay the ship's will and the blue and gold quite nice if I remember right uh, one of the big buildings has a whole lot of cool ship models inside and there's various mines and torpedoes and other things scattered about the grounds but I'll come back another day hopefully they're not scrubbing the life out of the pavement but it's nice to see that they're cleaning things you don't see that often in this country sad to say oh and look at the uh, old entrance I guess actually that's open but it's a bunch of weeds in there it looks like and of course you got the symbol of navies everywhere some dude sitting between two humpback cows <laughs> all right have no idea what that symbolizes okay maybe uh the father of the royal thai navy was a farmer before he uh took to sea who knows all right well there's the police box and that's the entrance over there to the the trail leading through the mangroves and to the shoreline which was a nice discovery we got the anchor over here and uh fake thai ship okay which works as well as the submarine they bought from the chinese without engines <laughs> all right okay heading home well of course i couldn't get all the way out without it starting to rain okay i have a small umbrella but i think i'm just going to wait it out for a, a little bit because i still see uh well some areas that don't have dark clouds but we'll see what happens i'm still a long way from home and i gotta swing over to see if the post office is open as well all right